Colonel Blake? Yeah. I just brought a company in and I figured I ought to report. I'm Davy Crockett from Tennessee. Davy Crockett? I should have known. By the great eternal, I never hope to see you in this neck of the woods. Sit down, sit down. <coughs> I can't get rid of this cough. Now tell me, how many men did you bring? Four, including myself. Four? Two acres of wall to defend. It'd take at least a thousand troops to man this garrison adequately, and I've got less than 200 volunteers. 200 stubborn men can do a tolerable lot of fighting. Crockett, I'm going to be honest with you. This miserable excuse of a fort is our last chance. If we can't hold Santa Ana here until Houston reorganizes our army, Texas is lost. Well, we'll just have to hold her. Right. But just between you and me, I want to tell you what we're up against. You know, we're practically encircled. And on top of that, we don't have enough rations left for a good-sized family dinner back home. Powder? Well, there's just about enough left for a turkey shoot. I don't have to tell you, Davy, that none of this goes outside this room. Sure, Colonel. These 200 you got? Yeah. Ain't there any more Texans around? Well, we've been sending messengers out. One did get back from Gonzales with 32 men. Now, there's a fair-sized force down at Goliad. We sent a courier out a few days ago, but I don't think he made it. Got a fresh horse? I'll take a crack at getting through. Now, Davy, we need your breed of men here. Half horse, half alligator. We both know the amount of powder in the gun's not near as important as the spirit of the man behind the sights. Half any battle's knowing you're going to win. Crockett, for the first time since I've been here, I believe we can hold out. And old Betsy here and this here Arkansas toothpick of yourn, how can we lose? <laughs>